My next guest has got a big fight coming up here against Hinato Moicano at UFC Fight Night on June 26th. It's Jai Herbert back here on the program. Jai, how are you? Oh, good, man. You? You okay? I'm doing well, yeah. Happy, happy to be talking to you, man. And uh, congrats on getting this uh, this fight. When did you find out? Because this is a, a pretty big matchup, like I said. Um, Jeez. Um, oh, God, I'm stumped now. Um, no worries. You, you probably got a full camp, though, I'm assuming. I feel like I heard about this yeah, fight yeah, a while ago. Yeah, I've, I've had a full camp for this fight, yeah, definitely. Um, I think it was about uh, ten week, nine, nine weeks ago or something like that, I found out. Um, yeah, so, you know, I've had a good camp. Uh, everything's gone great. I'm in the best shape ever, you know, so I'm looking forward to perform. Yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. Um, I know you're supposed to fight your car close back in, I think it was February. Um, I know you had to withdraw. Was that an injury or what happened there? I, I don't know if it was ever reported. That's what I mean. Like, no one even said, like, the UFC never even said, I had COVID, you know what I mean? Three weeks out from the fight, I got COVID. Okay. And um, obviously, I was, like, I was ill with COVID. But for some reason, like, no one, have, no one like, in the media or anything, or, like, you see, never, like, come out and said that I got COVID, and that, obviously, I wasn't allowed to fight because of that. Oh, okay. So, like, it was a bit strange for me. Like, I was thinking, well, because no one ain't said nothing, like, cause it, then it just looks like I was, I just pulled out for not for no reason at all, which was okay. a bit annoying that people, like, you know, and they never put it out there that I had COVID, but that's the reason why I pulled out, to, um, obviously, I wasn't allowed to fight. Right. No, that makes sense. Well, that's why we're here today. We want to get the word out and uh, spread the word that you did get COVID. It wasn't anything else. I mean, I always hate too when you see fans like, you know, online and stuff, you see someone's pulled out of a fight and they don't know why. And they're like, oh, he was scared or like, you know, all that oh, nonsense. Man. So, so gl- glad to hear it was COVID. I'm sure, you know, th- yeah, but that's but- dumb anyways. Fans shouldn't be saying that, right? It's crazy, man. Like, I've already signed to fight the guy. You know what I mean? Obviously, I'm in the UFC. I, I'm scared to fight someone he's, he's stupid obviously I'm coming there to fight the best guys in the world and like test myself against these guys yeah. um, you know, I got cold with people don't you know they, they're quick to say stupid things like that but they don't really know what um, someone could be going through what could they, what, they could have injuries they could have personal issues you know they could be ill so yeah it's all mad man it's all mad but yeah I'm here now and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling great for this one so yeah let's, let's go and, and when were you able to get back to training? Because I know obviously, what, it's two weeks you got to wait, I think, until you get tested again. Like, how are you feeling once you came back? Because I know it, COVID hits everyone differently. Yeah, yeah, it does. So I think, so in England, you have to, if you get it, the result, then you have to, like, quarantine for 10 days in your house. And, um, yeah, so after the quarantine, like, I sort of went back to light training. And, um, you know, I couldn't go straight back in hard because obviously it attacks your um, your respiratory system uh, and stuff. So, you know, it was uh, it took me a, a good couple of weeks to get back to um, to back to you know, you know uh, quite um, into like a sort of uh, like sort of a, a normal level. Sorry, uh, sorry of training. So yeah, yeah, it took me quite quite a few weeks to get back to like normal. But I think a lot of people, have, some people have had it like really bad. You know what I mean? And it's took them months to recover. But um, I was lucky that I didn't get like like really 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 bad, but um, like I say, it did take me a few weeks to uh, get back to normal. So was this the right amount of time off then, or were you, were you even wanting to fight a bit sooner than this? Uh, I think I, I wanted to fight sooner than this. When was the jacket close? Was I think it was the start of February or the end of Feb? I think it was uh, middle of Feb, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think it was like the end, if I remember. But yeah, I think I wanted. I asked I asked my manager for like to try and get like May. Or so I'm like, was it January, February, March? Yeah, May. I think I want in May, okay. um, but uh, there was fully booked in that, and they, so they, they, and they, they come up, they come back with this one, which was which, which was fine. So, you know, I'm ready now and I'm ready to go. So let's just let's get it done. Let's talk about your opponent here, Hinata Moicano. Uh, obviously, he's fought everyone from Calvin Cater to the Korean Zombie. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against him here? Yeah, man, it's a good it's a good matchup for me, man. You know, he's um. Uh, he's a he's a good striker. He, he looks to um, you know stand and stand and fight and, and bang like. But uh, you know all of his wins, most I think all of his wins they come by come by submission. You know, so he's um he's he's, he's slick on the ground in that. Um, so you know I've got to be um, obviously I'm prepared for that if he goes to the ground. Um, but yeah, it's, you know he's gonna come look to um, to throw hands and that. And um, yo know, he's gonna he's gonna catch one of mine. So and we'll see what happens from there. But I'm looking to you know put him away. How's camp gone? Who have you mainly got to work with for this one? Um, yeah, man, I've worked with all all the lads from you know Renegades, like you know Leon Edwards, Fabian, um, Aiden, Akon, all the boys. There's loads of lads down there, you know. Um, yeah, so we just we're just making it happen, you know. I've been working with my striking coaches, um, Joby Clayton, Damian Trainer, the rest the wrestling with um with Camby down at Fearless, 
um, at Renegade. Everyone, man, the Jiu Jitsu, that with, uh, with Danny Khalid. Yeah, so I'm getting in, man. I'm making sure all my areas are covered, you know what I mean? Strength yeah. conditioning. Like, the big difference this this camp, um, my strength conditioning, my strength conditioning coach, uh, John Ashley. I mean, last camp, we had basically the heaviest thing we had was like a 30 kg kettlebell in the park because obviously it was locked down in it. So, yeah, it was couldn't really, yeah. No, it, was, it was really difficult for me. It's like probably my worst, almost, it's probably my worst fight camp I've ever had for the biggest fight I ever had. It was mad. But so, but this time I'm coming in 100%. Nice. That's good. Uh, you mentioned Leon Edwards, obviously, had a good fight on the weekend, but unfortunately, everyone's talking about this stupid fifth round thing with Nate Diaz. Uh, have you spoken oh. to Leon since that fight, or what were your thoughts on that matchup? I haven't spoken to him. Um, obviously, I sent him a message and he messaged me back and he messaged me about um, my fight this weekend. Just a quick message. But bloody hell, yeah. He put on an absolute clinic that, like, for four four like, four like rounds and, what, four minutes? Four minutes. Or so, yeah. And then he just got caught with that shot in the last minute or for whatever it was, 30 seconds. And, you know, people just go, going on about that. But, like, you know, people who know MMA and know the sport could appreciate what he did in there, you know what I mean? For them, for them five rounds, you know, it was a, um, it was, it was a clean clinical performance, man. It was a brilliant performance from him. And then um, hopefully now he gets the title shot, which I think he deserves, you know. Ten fight on beating streak. I know it's like, what does he got to do? Like just because of one round, like it seems so silly that they're focusing on that, right? It's mad, man. It's mad. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on there. But hopefully, yeah, uh, he gets the shot anyway. You know, um, he deserves it anyway. So hopefully, he gets it. Uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, who's going to come over with me? It'll be Fa- uh, Fabian Edwards and uh, Aiden Lee. So I'm just oh, going to nice. take two guys over. They'll be there, there, there for me, um, you know, supporting and uh, cheering me on and making me making sure I get everything right, you know, keeping me focused and uh, making sure, you know, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to um, put him away. How's this fight playing out on June 26th? Um, I know I'm saying I'm putting him away now, but obviously I'm just I'm going in there preparing for a three-round fight because I know a lot of his fights have you know, gone the distance and he's he's in pretty good shape, you know what I mean? And he um he, he look he he will he will stand the strike and he'll stay he, fair play to him, he stays in there, you know, he stays um he comes keeps coming forward and uh he looks to um you know, it'll stay exchange. So that's what I'm preparing for, you know, that's that's what I've got to prepare for. But I'm lucky to, you know, put him away. You know, I'm I'm not gonna just, uh predict the round but you know, I'm I'm just trust me, I'm going in there to put him away. And that's what I'm going to do. I imagine, you know, after this, try and keep active if you can. I know there was rumblings about a card in London. I'm, I'm assuming if that comes to fruition, you'd want to be on that card. Yeah, 100%. Um, I think I heard it was meant to be in August, but they put it back to um, September. And I, I mean, that's like, even if like, if that's the case, then that's even, oh, that's great for me. I'd love I was going to say, the time it kind of works out for this fight, right? If you, if you get this one and, you know, there's plenty of time. Wicked. So yeah, if, if that is if that's happening, I hundred percent want to be on that card. Cool. And uh, before we go, what's downtime looking like? Any Netflix? Any TV? Any video games? What have you been up to? Oh man, you know what? I've been flat out. You know this camp. I haven't got to do any downtime really. You know I've just been training like hell. And um, when I do get home, boy, I'm just chilling out, I'm watching the telly and, and stuff, and pfft, just just watching YouTube and them things there. Just you know, just pissing about. To be honest, um, you watch, are you watching the Euro at all? What? Oh, mad! Yeah, I'm watching. I'm watching a bit of the Euros. To be fair, I watched uh, England are playing on Friday, so um, I'm watch. I'll be uh, watching that. If yeah, it's on at night, so I won't be. I'll be. My training would have been done by then. So tomorrow, I'll be watching them tomorrow night, and uh, I'll be rooting for him. I feel like we're going to do really well this this um, this campaign. Yeah. Um, so I think we got a bit of a got a got a chance, man. So I'm you know rooting for the, the team and the free lions. Uh, UFC Fight Night coming up here June 26th uh, Jai thanks so much for the time man really appreciate it anyone you want to thank any sponsors any social media you want to plug I'll give you the last word yeah man um, I just want to shout out my spot, my, my sponsors uh, Green Hill Sport um, SD S, um, S90 man- Media sorry S90 Media um, for all their media stuff to do for me yeah man T- Tommy Johnson Mass- Massage Renegade Jitsu you know all my sponsors man I want to shout them out man respect